Uh, before we get to that with Bob Chapman, I want to bring up and then get Bob's take on it. Uh, Aaron Dykes and then a comment from Darren McBreen, who we barely had a chance to talk to earlier. They're in Denver for this uh, forest guardian. Oh, I'm talking about the mass murder. Sorry. Mountain guardian uh, situation. I, I know you guys have been to some more drills now. You've been at SWAT team takeovers of schools, all federally directed. Aaron, what have you witnessed in the last two hours? Alex, we just had major updates on a part of the press release where they admit they're using the sports stadium here. Out of breath, we've just been checking with sources. <laughs> they're using the sports stadium to test the processing, and then we confirm with the source at the stadium that although they won't let us in, there's been school buses arrived with teachers and children. So that's your FEMA processing center right there. Well, that goes back to a program... Wow, wow. I hear out of breath. Catch your breath for a minute, Aaron. Uh, but but you got to get up on a tall building. Um, and I doubt they'll let you run a helicopter right now during one of these drills. You've got to get it because that's what they did in Chicago but wouldn't let do and Douglas into that. And I'm sick of it. And that's usually the real drill. And they practice at these whenever there's an emergency. In fact, in fact, I've got to get a hold of Watson. The Washington Post, remember five years ago, reported that in emergencies, they're going to take your kids away from you, take them to sports stadiums till you agree to come turn your guns in to get them. That's how they get you in, the people they want in custody. They grab your kids out of the school and make you come to get them, and then you're never seen again. You've confirmed. Tell us the sources if you can. Obviously, we knew when they wouldn't let media in the sports stadium exactly what's happening. The first source is the actual news advisory, which gives the layout of the entire exercise. On the bottom paragraph of page one, it talks about the use of Catholic charities and the Sports Authority field at Mile High Stadium, which has been renamed from Invesco to Sports Authority, uh, to test student-teacher processing activities. A little code word of theirs. Meanwhile, we were getting the runaround at the stadium but one of the employees tipped us off that, yes, the buses were coming in and no press was allowed. They're only allowed in the parking lot more than, I don't know, a quarter right. mile away. We're going to check the stadium. Alex Jones channel at YouTube. Kurt Nemo is updating as we go. Uh, but we yeah, first Taylor just did a major update. Yeah, well, we first just learned about this in 2000, pre-9-11. We got photos sent by listeners. We called the school. It was in the Ozarks. On the Arkansas-Oklahoma uh, border, no, Arkansas-Missouri border. Uh, we've got articles on InfoWars. I've got to pull them. They're from 10 years ago, or more than 10 now, almost 11. And, and in that, they were practicing taking kids away from their families to a FEMA center. So you're saying that is indeed going on, and you have their press release. Were you able to get footage of the vehicles driving in? Well, Alex, this is Darren now, and we're on our way. Like uh, your, uh, Aaron might have just told you, we've just been tipped off that there are school buses loaded with children oh my and, God. Uh, being driven in on the other side. So we're going to go over there real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, get uh, in the car. Right? Get in the car. Drive while we talk. Get in the car. Okay. Drive while we talk. Yeah, get over there. So you yeah, just got... We've also been told that residents in the area, they've been warned to expect loud noises, explosions, and smoke. Uh, we've witnessed all three. Uh, we're also seeing a huge, uh, you know, there's a military presence. And um, right now... We're going to drive on the other side and see if we can catch these school buses entering the stadium. Yeah, what this is is learned helplessness. They they train the children to go with the men in black uniforms and disappear. And they admit, I remember Mark Cornkey talking about this 15 years ago, and I halfway didn't believe it, that they'll take you to a sports stadium and make your parents come, and then they arrest you there. And then sure enough, it was confirmed later. I mean, this government is so diabolical that they've got the preachers training to tell people to go to FEMA camps. Guys, you get me well, Nemo in here. We, we feel lucky that we got tipped off because I'm telling you, they, they really tried to keep us from entering the stadium. In fact, they wanted us to, you know, far from the entrances. And um, we're surprised that the press was here. And uh, we, thus far, we haven't seen any other media in this area. So uh, they're really keeping it hush-hush. But yeah, let me guess, because this there. is always an exercise in distractions. They were probably telling you, oh, go to this event, or go to this train event, or go here. Just don't go to the sports stadium. Obviously, remember I told you before you flew out yesterday, I said, sports stadium, sports stadium. I said, if you have to, split up and have somebody stake out that sports stadium. Uh, and I meant to tell Aaron before he ran out to get the telephoto video camera. You guys, are there any skyscrapers you can get in to shoot video off the roof into there? Well, you know, there's a lot of high area, high ground around this uh, stadium that we'll, we'll definitely try to yeah, do. They're that not going to want you to see bus. this because after the kids go in, you watch. 
They're going to have simulations of parents arriving, and they're going to be arrested. Oh, we may actually have them. Like, I shouldn't even be talking about it. They may cancel that part of the drill. We've got to get this key evidence. Of course, I've already videotaped it before with the Marines doing it. Nobody seems to care. All right, stay there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to report that's going up to our Alex Jones YouTube channel. Kurt Nemo is updating InfoWars with these new videos as they come in. We're also going to be doing a report tonight at InfoWars Nightly News, 7 o'clock Central. And throughout the weekend, obviously Sunday, 4 to 6, with the Sunday News Show. We like to be on at least six days a week to cover everything that's happening. When you really wake up is when you go to an urban warfare drill and you witness the people playing the part of Americans with families being broken up and firearms being confiscated. And troops asking, where'd you get the firearms? And they say, I got it from here. I'm from San Francisco. Then you go back to your hotel room. CNN's there with you. And they're reporting their training for fighting in Bosnia. And you're like, whoa, this is creepy. Uh, so, yes, they are. And, and I've got Kurt back there pulling the Washington Post and stuff. They do have plans, just like the Soviets did, to take your kids to a camp then make you come turn yourself in. You think you're going to pick them up, and they run you through a list, and then, boom, you get loaded on a truck and rolled out to the uh, gulag, whatever the case is. And the federal government now admits they've made lists of Americans for Roundup. Well, you know what you do with Soviets when they come. All right. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry it's getting to this point, ladies and gentlemen. We're trying to peacefully fix things, but you don't have to go in a ditch and be shot in the back of the head by the feds. Who are training, by the way, in all these drills to take on, uh, quote, disgruntled veterans. I want to go back to Aaron, who I can hear shooting a report in the background, so I won't go to him quite yet. We'll go in a little bit of overdrive with him. Bob Chapman, what's your view on what you're hearing right now? Well, it's something I expected uh, 40 years ago. It took a long time to get here. I'm, like you, I'm very unhappy that uh, it's happened, but uh, uh, we can't stop what's going on with the government unless we can get people in Congress that will stop them, and whether that'll happen or not remains to be seen. But, uh, yes, they want to control everybody, and they certainly want to get guns away from people, and they do want to train and control impressionable young people. Uh, these kids, uh, I coach kids for 35 years. I know how it works, uh, how children react to things, and how trusting and pure, really, they are as children. And uh, they're easy marks for these people. Um, now, Bob, I want to hold you over for five minutes into Internet-only overdrives. So we can get more of a report from Aaron and your, your comment on it. But d let's not forget the Emergency Centers Establishment Act that says, oh, it's community areas during collapse, but also the bad guys. The political dissidents will have to be separated and put in a, in, a, in a chained area. But you're lucky to be allowed into the camp during the banker uh, implosion. This is all just acclimating locals about people being taken to camps. Oh, it's just children for now. It's all part of drilling this and finding out who on the police departments says something or is aware of what's going on. This is all multifaceted so the feds can probe the enemy as they see us, the American people. This is a federal government that works for foreign banks. Aaron, it's key in your reports, because people are watching these big time, to point out the Emergency Centers Establishment Act, the clergy response teams. This all dovetails in with everything else. What are you now seeing, Aaron Dykes? Alex, this thing is a labyrinth, but we finally got to the southeast tunnel entrance, and we have seen the safety officer vehicle for Denver Public Schools, and we are looking at a bus marked special. It's not a yellow school bus, but it's a kind of city bus. And it's that special. It's parked in the southeast tunnel. We don't know how many other buses are in there. Uh, there's also a crowd of people buying T-shirts or something. Uh, but we've been confronted by some of the security, although we haven't left yet, Alex. Well, you, again, well just tell them. I mean, they told you to leave. You're in America trying to show what they're doing with public school kids. Look, look, here's the deal. Okay, Aaron, um, uh, Kurt's doing a report. I want you to do a report for YouTube holding up the document they gave you admitting it's kids. That's important, A. What did security say to you? Uh, they were speaking to McBreen while I was checking out the other activities. But we're still looking right at that bus. And like I said, we saw the Denver Public Schools safety officer vehicle. Yeah, and remember, uh, so and, and by the way, there. correct, media has been told they're not allowed in and to stay away, right? That's right. Media stay there, stay there. Okay, America is being trained to live like prisoners. TSA sticking their hands down our pants. NFL football games, everything is an exercise in being a prisoner. They're training law-abiding citizens to be cowardly prisoner ex-con types. Bob Chapman's uh, riding shotgun with us for five more minutes. 
Aaron Dykes, you got cut off by the break. Uh, specifically, is security telling you to get out of there? Because I don't want you to get arrested again. Listen, Alex, security has not told us to leave yet. However, DPS security is on their way to talk to us. Yeah, yeah, so-called security in America to stop free press from actually seeing what they're doing with kids. They are the people that need to be exposed. They are the danger. But we've also been tipped off that another school bus is imminently arriving. Uh, so we're going to try to park and play by the rules so we can stick around and see that happening. It's just incredible in America you're going to get questioned by cop after cop, and then they'll finally tell you to leave like you're wrong to want to show what they're doing in America with kids. I would just say, look, I got a First Amendment, but if you want to sit here on camera and say that I can't show what you're doing with these kids, okay, just tell me. And then go. Go. You know, they try to put people in jail for life for filming cops now. This country is run by foreign bankers. I'm just so sick of it. Aaron, anything else you want to add here? Oh, Alex, they're being friendly. They're just here for our security, so. Yeah, exactly. Roll up your sleeve, take some more shots, cancer rate I'm troubles. really glad the city's on lockdown. Yeah, that, that's what I was reading. They've used this basically to lock down the city, correct? Uh, large parts of downtown are completely blocked off, yeah. Although, obviously, there's still activity going on. Yeah, they're using the threat of fake terror to set up martial law in America, and this is all acclamation. Let me talk to McBreen real quick and get his take on this. Yeah, uh, Mr. McBreen. This is Darren. All right, Darren, we've only got a minute or two left. I want to get Bob to pop in with a final word, but what's your take on what you're seeing? You know, it's, it's even crazier than I was expected. Uh, we're, we're being told that this drill is something bigger than on the scale of 9-11. They said it was even bigger. Uh, what authorities are referring to, the, the word I hear, Alex, is catastrophic. It's what they're drilling for. So um, we're just trying to get a, a, a better look inside. Uh, we were told that a, another school bus is on the way, uh, so Aaron and I are going to try to uh, talk to the authorities here. I think we found someone to talk to and try to bring back some footage. Okay, great. Yeah, that's why we. That's why I sent you, because I've learned the biggest drills are in Denver. And every time I've missed it, so that's why I heard another Denver drill that they weren't really making a big deal out of. I said, we've got to get there. So we're catching some key intel. We'll obviously have more tonight, uh, 7 o'clock, and you guys are uploading directly to PrisonPlanet.tv. Uh, and you're uploading to YouTube. And if you have to, go to Justin TV. If they start giving you a problem, go right to live transmission. Um, you've got two different transmitter systems, so make sure you do that. Uh, great job, uh, Darren and Aaron. Uh, keep me abreast of the situation. We'll see you 7 o'clock tonight. All right. Thank you, Alex.